and welcome to Tykes TV. Neil is here, and I've also got Tom on. Tom, it's been a while. I know you've been busy with work and everything like that, but it's always great to have you on and have your opinion, mate. So glad you can make it. Cheers, Neil. Yeah, good to be back. Um, so we'll get on about game um, against Shrewsbury Town. I don't know what you're making it, but I thought it was a bit of a, and I don't mean this disrespectful, it was a bit of a messy game, a bit of a, it reminded me a bit like a Fleetwood match, this, where it was going to be up against a tough organised side. But the most important thing for me is that we came away with a win and a clean sheet and all. Um, and we're going to get these kind of games, I think, Tom, as well. Yeah, it's proper League One, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's proper League One stuff. Um, I was thinking earlier that we've, um, we're actually, we, <laughs> we, we're not used, when we do predictions and stuff, you've got a danger of, Making yourself look silly, ain't you? But I think most people's predictions at the start of the season were we'll win some, we'll lose some, and we'll do all right, top half. Um, and that's where we're at, isn't it? And we, mm. we, we're at a stage now where you can judge it and say that's where we deserve to be. I think it is where we deserve to be. Yeah, um, there's there's, uh, there's so many games that are just like you know, it, it can be. It, it's very, very unpredictable, very unpredictable at the moment. And I think the one thing at the moment I would say is that I think Duff's getting the most out of the squad that we've got. Because mm. I, I do think we're limited still. I do think we're really limited in, in some areas. Uh, but I think he's doing a really good job with what we've got. Um, you've also got to consider that places like Shrewsbury and places like that, they're hard to go to. You can't just mm. turn up and expect it. And you know what? It's not going to be pretty, is it? Sometimes it's not going to be. We're, there's no point in having players that are League One players and trying to play like Barcelona. I've always said that. Mm. Uh, Keith Hill tried to do it, and it happened a couple of games. And then you know, it's just you can't. You've got there's some games that are just going to be horrible games. Yeah. Uh, particularly this time of year, um, and particularly when they put when we're playing so many games, Neil as well I've said this before. It's not just a, it's not just a one game a week thing, is it? It's a, if you think about some of these players who are playing uh, week in, week out, your Andersons and your players like that, there's a lot of games. There's a lot of games. So yeah. uh, we've got to take it. We've, we've sometimes, I don't know, I think we've got to not lower our expectations, but we've just got to be realistic in terms of it's not going to be. Because I, I, I would have taken a point. Yeah, I'm, I'm sounding negative here, but I would have taken a point yesterday. Mm. Um, the fact that we've come away with a win and a clean sheet is um, a huge credit, I think. Yeah, and I think credit's got to be good to like such as Duff and that, because obviously we Bolton, uh, we went to FA Cup and did that, and we're still in for uh, Papa Jones and we're still in FA Cup, which is testament to squad rotation. We've picked up injuries, obviously we know Wood, Wolf, Thomas still being out and that. So, again, what, what we're pleasing for me to see is that the how we approach that game against such as Shrewsbury, we are I think if it had been last season, I could have seen us kind of losing that game last season. Um, it was well structured, well organised, and to be fair, I thought when when it got stuck under Cole's feet in box, I thought I thought we were just going to take a spin and shoot, but he didn't. He managed to lay it off, and again, getting bodies in box. Phillips, you know, he scored against Bolton. He came up against this, and that is what we we're missing last season as well as that. When we got to these positions, you were playing that kind of ball across the field, where nobody in box. So again, it's kind of addressing that way the squad and personnel what he's got at minute. And like what you said a bit earlier, Tom, I, I still think we're we're still short in a few areas. And I think yeah. Duff is as alluded to that, is said oh, there's been rumors going out saying that we've identified targets in January. We're not look, bother looking at free agent market. And for me, I, I can't see why if we looked at free agent market like as such as now, nah, you're gonna bring back person or players in. They're still going to get up to match speed. So before you know where you're at, you're already going in January transfer window anyway. So for me, I'd we've got, I think, MK Dons uh, next Saturday. And then we've got, obviously, Papa Johns. And like you said, we've got the fixtures coming up. And Peter Begame as well. And then you get into the December, January. And we're back to it where it's going to be week and midweek. Week. So again, you've got to think about the players, such as like your Anderson. I mean, when he took that bit of stumbling first day, I thought if he comes off, how much, you know, another one on injury bench. And mm -hmm. it's not what we can't afford, is it? We, we've got to try and look after this player as best we can, aren't we, really? Uh, well, I think the, the we've got um, 
uh, we said at the start of the season, particularly with the way that the finances were poor, so poorly managed and so badly done last year, mm. and the contracts that were handed out, and some of the players who were, were having to carry in terms of like your Lares, Leo Seckers, all them who have um, be, got big contracts, um, who have been absolutely scandalous purchases, really, when you look at it. But when you, what I'm trying to say is, we're still carrying them. No matter what, no matter if they put if they put I don't know a certain amount of money in, you're still carrying that wage, and until you can get rid of that wage, and until you can do that, there's no point in signing somebody who's not right, mm. paying them and and having that that gamble on them. Um, so let's say you look at someone who's a free agent, and it takes them four weeks to get up and running. That's four weeks worth of wages, and that's what uh, your contracts that you're offering them. You, you've just got to be careful. You've got to be careful in terms of what you're doing in, in the position that we're in. After in last year, um, and I don't think Duff's the kind of manager to say, "Oh well, I want him," um, but you know, if he's going to break the bank or he's not going to fit into the team, he won't have him. Mm. Well, I, and 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 yeah, there are a couple. You know, like when you see like fans saying, "Oh well, we should sign this and we should sign that." You've no idea like what um, where they are personally. You've no idea what kind of money they're asking for. You've no idea. Do you know what I mean? So you've just yeah. got to be a little bit careful in terms of who you're going for. And I'm sure there are targets and there, and there are things like that. But one thing that's been really pleasing from, because we were saying about um, goals and stuff like that, goals from midfield is something that we've not had for a while. Mm. Uh, and Phillips knocking in a couple and you've had Benson putting a couple in the, already this season. And um, that's, a, that's a big part as well. That's, that's something really positive. Um, and if you look at Phillips' goal record, it's a really good goal record. I know he took penalties at Markham, but it's got he's got a really good goal record. Um, and for him to he must do his confidence world a good as well for him to. Um, he's basically won his two games running, hasn't he? Do you know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. But he's he's had a major part in the one at Bolton. He's had a he's he's won it yesterday. Um, so that'll do him a lot of good. And he did say when he came, he wasn't fully up to match fitness and stuff. So mm. that's um. That's a, another positive for me. Yeah. I mean, like you just said, with, with Phillips chipping him at goals from midfield and uh, Thomas all being well when he comes back from injury. I know it's uh, did an interview on I followed earlier on it week. You've got Matty Wolf still to come back. I mean, Josh Benson were on bench. And like you said, Vier, we know what Benson can do as well. So I think in that particular area, especially if like Thomas or Wolf comes back from injury, they're going to be like new signings yet again because yeah. we haven't really seen Outer Wolf uh, this season to be fair and it's a shame with Conor McCarthy because he, he come in in summer he uh, wants to play football and that with Fox, Fox season so again certain areas I think he's probably identified and when I'm looking at table um, even when we went through that uh, sticky patch that bit of a blip where we'd we'd, we'd gone six one beaten then went through a patch where we weren't winning out we couldn't buy a win um, we're still up here in the Munster. I mean, I'm just looking at the table like now. We're eight from 27, but when you look on six players, Derby, we're on 28. Yeah, we've got uh, a game as well, haven't we? So, yeah, uh, um, um, we've got MK Dons coming up. And again, MK Dons on battle prove another challenge in its send. We uh, should have said expectations will be high that oh, we should be winning against MK Dons, but then that's added pressure onto players knowing that. You know, they've come away from a, a tricky tie at Shieldby Town. Um, oh, it should be a winnable game, but you can find that bit of a, a, a lull, a bit of a false sense of expectation, I think, sometimes. Tom, it brings his added pressure. I've said before, though, where we've got like, um, and it's something that I believe in massively, is that a lot of these players have got the quality they've got. To, it's the consistency. It's the consistency of what the, they're playing at this level because they're not consistently brilliant. And do you know what I mean? Do things you look at. I mean, I've looked at like um, look at Cadden. I think he's had a really stop start mm. um, um, start to his career, uh, start to his time at Barnsley. But I think that some of the balls that he's been knocking in in the last couple of games have been outstanding, mm. and you've seen that little bit of quality that he can have. However, before you've got people saying writing him off and stuff like that. They can do it. They can, mm. but. It's that consistency, and it's that finding that consistency. And you've got to bear in mind as well that we're still in, we're still a short amount of time into having this manager in place. He, we've all said 
So we've we've all said three things. We've all said he needs to have a couple of transfer windows. Mm. We've all said that it's going to be up and down and inconsistent this season. And if we can get to somewhere near the playoffs, um, then we, we've we've done a decent job considering where we were. Um, and we've all said that it's going to take a bit of time. So realistically, all those three things, you know, they're all happening, aren't they? Yeah. So I think it, I think it's we, we, we're. I, I'm really positive about it at the moment because I think that we we needed a we needed a um, stability, and it's the most boring word in football. But you do you needed the stability of not getting on a. If you just think about how when you look at the games that we had at the start of the season, you look at how badly that could have gone in terms of losing, losing, losing. If you lose a couple three games in a row, people are saying, "Well, we're in League One now. Why aren't we winning games?" It's like it takes yeah. a long time to stop a rot. And we've we, we really have got to remember how unbelievably awful last year was, mm. and, and and what kind of mood there would have been around the camp. So I think the way that we're going at the moment is 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 positive, and we've we've I do think we've got to be realistic. If we you know we there's there's absolutely every chance that MK Don's come and beat us. And there's every chance that that happens, and yeah, it's frustrating, and yeah, it might, it might be a really, really poor game. But we've got to look a little bit further on than that, I think, at the moment, um, in my opinion. I know there'll be some fans who will disagree, and that's, again, some, all about opinions in it and whatever they're saying and mm. and that. And there'll be some who'll be saying, oh, we're doing better than what we thought we would. So I, ju I, I just look at the games that you've got to play and look at what you've got to do, and every single game in this league brings a new challenge. They don't, yeah. play, they don't play the same, do they? And referees bring a new challenge every week, Neil. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to come on to that with referee. Uh, where I saw him yesterday, I thought he handled it pretty much well, to be fair. Try, he tried to keep the game flowing at times. Um, I've, I've seen worse. I've seen horrendous uh, refereeing decisions. And I'm just about to come on to like what you were saying, Bia, like about opinions and stuff. So, considering where we are now, uh, you know, we're coming up to like, you know, a couple of weeks off from in December, mid, mid, more or less midway kind of thing. Would you say that we're roughly round about where we expected we would be, or would you have been saying, no, we should have been a bit further than Tom? Um, from the games, from the games that we've all seen, mm -hmm. I would say that we probably should be higher because I think we should have seen off your teams like Port Vale. I think we should have dealt with a couple Exeter of games. That, yeah, yeah I think we should have dealt with a couple of games a little bit better than what we did. Yeah. Um, and I think some poor errors of costers in games, um, and a little bit of um, lack of experience and nous as costers mm. a little bit. So I think Duff will be really frustrated that we've not sitting with seven more points. To be honest, mm. however, I'd give it probably about an eight out of ten so far because I think it's there's a lot of positives and there's a lot of things that are that are going well. Um, I mean you. You know, we're having a chat about if if we lose one nil yesterday, um, people's chats different. Um, and and yeah. we again got to look a little bit further than that, really. I think so. I I would say we, <clears throat> I would say we we we're doing all right. Just about the referees and just about the referees that were um, mm -hmm. when we were saying before. There has been a couple of games where, um. The Cheltenham game, the referee was very, very good because he stopped them from doing the niggly fouls from the, from from the first ten minutes. Yeah. Um. So we have a thing. I always say this round up where we sit, and that and they always say, if he does that in second half, it's a yellow card. And do you know what I mean? So they start yeah. yellow cards in second half and stuff like that. But teams know that they can get away with a couple of niggly fouls and stuff and slow it down and do all mm. those things. And we've got to be better at dealing with that. Because the Cheltenham game, he gave a yellow card out straight away and it stopped it. But there's going to be games where they're going to be niggly, trying to get in your face, trying to slow it down, trying to do those things. And we've got to get, we've got to be better at that. We're doing. I actually think that we've got better at that as the season's gone on, and a lot of fans won't like that because um, we don't like the time wasting and all that stuff. But but you've got to do it. You've got to. Yeah. You've got to see a game out. You've got to do what you're doing. I mean, you remember when um, England women won the. Hmm? When, when they were they won the um, cup in the summer, they hmm. saw 
at the game so well the last five minutes and I just thought that were an absolute you know it was just they managed way. it yeah they yeah, managed it, it yeah so good and I and I look at games and I think you won the up away at Shrewsbury you've got to manage it you've got to yeah. do it. and whether people like it or not that's difference between like the Port Vale game we managed horrendously yeah. um, but that's the, and, and that's the learning curve as well a lot of the players are still young aren't they mm-hmm yeah, I agree with that. It's like what you say. It's about game management and I see a game out and don't be naive and still go on full on attack when there's no need for it. You just tie your shoelace, take a bit longer with goal kick and yeah, it can be ugly. But at the end of the day, if it's going to get you three points, you're going to take it. And even right up until last minute uh, and there were a scuffle going off and even Duff alluded to it as well as saying that's what he wants to see in his players. They're fighting togetherness, everybody in it. And that's and that's what I'm wanting as fans and fans fans there and all they they want it they want you know they, one of their players going in I think it was Dunkley going in on uh, Collins and then they were coming up and but it was great to see that everybody were in it not like one shine out and again but, uh, it, it's bought a bit of time for us as well yeah if you look at it like that yeah <laughs> you know. and if you're looking at players like exactly and you're looking at players like Dunkley who's played goodness knows how many games at this level and he's mm. an experienced player. They're going to do those things. That, yeah. that You've got a lot of 29, 30, 31, 32 year olds playing at this level who have played a lot of games at this level mm. um, and know the ins and outs and know the. Do you know what I mean? They know, they've, they've, they've got that bit of nous about them. And, that, and that, again, that's the pleasing thing for me is, is seeing games out like yesterday and doing that. Um, I do think it's, I do think it, it's really important. Um, and I'm still, I still think a, a, a strong start dictates what dictates how we play. Um, I think when we when we slow and we just a little bit laboured and we try and keep the ball, but don't keep it in. Um, we keep it in in not great, but keeping the ball is fine. But keeping it in, you know, in decent positions and trying to find mm. that ball with pass and just a bit of impetus, um, which is why Luke Thomas is such a big miss. Because he's yeah. the he's the one who drives forward at times. Um, I mean, our main driving force in in recent weeks has been Kitchen, on it. It has, on it from yeah from defence, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's and and it just changes the dynamic of the game. Sometimes it changes the you know the slow, lethargic build up and all that kind of stuff. Just change that little. Imp- Jordan Williams came and did it other week. Um, yeah. The uh, Forest Green and he was the he was the one who was charging forward it and it just kind of sets the tone it's like a big challenge you know first five minutes big challenge fans love it players love it it's like a lead by example kind of thing isn't it yeah and everybody buys into it and again i think he did say duff i I don't know if it were against forest green or if it were against bolton he said that as much as we need fans to help us out we've got to give some fans to you know, we can't keep relying on fans for getting us going. We need to get fans going as well. So, good point on that. Uh, yeah, I'm like I say, I know what people like saying <clears throat> a messy win. Um, it was an ugly game, it weren't best of games. But the main thing is that we came away with a win, a clean sheet, and we move on. And all, all the statistics what we what we see about is how many goals can put it back in it. And we did it. Um, one note, we've got to win, we just send it down and move on, Tom. Uh, MK Dons next week, um, and again, try and uh, try and replicate his away form at home if we can. You know, both with performance and results as well. Yeah, definitely. And I, like, I could, um, I couldn't get there yesterday, so I watched it back. Um, mm. And um, it's it's quite nice to watch it back when you know what result is. You know, if, if when you know you've won, you've, <laughs> you ain't got you ain't holding on and shredding your fingernails and whatever. <laughs> yeah, so it was. Um, it's it's these kind of it's it's these kind of runs of games where you put together a couple of wins and you put together a couple of um perform well, not even performances but you put three points together mm. you put points together in three games and it completely changes can change your season it can change yeah. how you're looking at the season you know just like three losses can um so if we sit if we sit here having lost to uh, MK Dons Peter but do you know and yeah, you know, no. And we're looking at it completely different, and it's just—it's really strange how it works. But there will be that bunch of, I think we said at the start of the season, there is like a there's like three leagues within a league, mm. um, and there's probably about eight or nine teams at the top who can all challenge up there. Um, 
you ones at the bottom who are going to be scrapping who are on you've got your lower budgets and stuff like that and then you've got your your teams like I don't know maybe I'm probably doing some teams a little bit of disrespect here but Bristol Rovers Fleetwood mm. those kind of teams who who I mean they're you know that kind of mid range ones yeah. who could, could push on or could get dropped into it and and I just I, I think we've got to try and keep within reach of the if, if we stay within three four points of the playoffs um I think we can we, we can make a charge and and January will be interesting depending yeah. <clears throat> I think it'd be more interesting depending on where we are at that point <clears throat> because it depends how they see it you know if we're seventh are we going for it mm. we're tenth or eleventh are we saying long term or do you know what I mean it's yeah, the, yeah. <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see how they approach that thing. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, Tom, as always, been a pleasure having you on. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. People who's watching, leave your comments below and let me know your thoughts. Uh, like what we've said, we're more or less, you know, considering results, what could have gone our way, you know, what we, uh, we had a pretty tough start against some big sides. If you look at Plymouth and Derby's and that, when we started in Ipswich and Chef, uh, Chef Wednesday, and again, points that we've lost. So leave your comments below. It's always been a pleasure. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds.